Hey guys, this is Kristen at Cooking in the County, and today I am bringing you another viewer's recipe. And these, I'm not sure what she calls them, but her name is Chelsea, and I think they might call them crack pretzels, or they're, they're like a snacking pretzel. And um, her boyfriend works with my husband, and he brought them in, and all the guys at work thought they were so amazing. Steve told me about them. I'm like, hey, why don't I do that for YouTube? I think people would really love it. So today we are making Chelsea's crack pretzels. So here's a list of ingredients you're gonna need to make these pretzels. You'll need a 12 ounce bag of Schneider's Butter Snap Pretzels, three fourths cup of canola oil, one packet of ranch seasoning, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right, here's what we're going to do first. Very first thing that you need to do is buy the correct pretzels. Now, she says Schneider's, let me look at my paper here, Schneider's Butter Snap Pretzels. Well, unfortunately, my little small town grocery store did not have those. So do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I did get the Schneiders, so I, we'll see if it really makes a difference. He, they say that it does make a huge difference that you have to have the butter Schneiders, but today we're gonna use these ones, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is get one, okay, here, here's another thing. Uh, Three-fourths cup of canola oil, she says. Well, I only have vegetable oil, so I'm probably gonna completely ruin her entire recipe. I hope I don't, okay? But I have vegetable oil, so we're doing vegetable oil. Three-fourths cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna put this in a bowl. Okay. To this, we're going to add one ranch packet seasoning. So this week, I am going to be bringing you a bunch of party dips. That's what this week is gonna be all about, and these snacking uh, pretzels. Okay, next thing is a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I don't have probably much more than that. Half a teaspoon of cayenne. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And all these recipes this week are gonna be quick. I hope there's something I'm looking at these recipes, I'm like, well, everybody probably knows how to do these, but maybe you don't. At one point in time, I didn't know how to do them. So I'm gonna bring them to you. Because pretty soon, we're gonna be able to go to parties with our friends again, and you're gonna need some really yummy dips to bring to those parties, so. Okay, next thing is one teaspoon of lemon pepper. Okay, that's it. And we're gonna whisk it up. That all up really nice. It smells really good. Can't imagine. So he gave me some leftover so I can test them so we can see what the difference is. So I'll be anxious to see that. And now it's gonna get really simple. You need a gallon size bag. Now his recipe or their recipe says, um, 12 ounce bag. This is a 16 ounce bag, so I'm not gonna put the whole thing in there. Okay. We'll put most of it, but not all of it. Seems about right. Okay. So all we're gonna do is pour all of this seasoning in here. Make sure you get all of it. Make sure you get a scraper. Make sure we get it. We're just going to mush it all around so every pretzel gets this. Now, the next step is that this needs to sit in your refrigerator for at least an hour. But he says it's even better overnight. So we're going to overnight these. And I'll bring you back tomorrow, and we're going to bake them in the oven 
and then we're going to test them. So, they look pretty, pretty covered up there. These are going to be so good. So I'm just going to let the air out. And I'm going to put these in the refrigerator overnight. And we'll be back tomorrow and we're going to bake them in the oven. Our pretzels have been in the refrigerator overnight. Now, upon talking to Cody, because this is technically Cody and Chelsea's crack pretzels, he said he tried them overnight and it really didn't make much of a difference by them being in the fridge for two hours or overnight. So whatever, we did two hours. I mean, we did it overnight. So we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna have a lined cookie sheet and we're gonna spread them out evenly. So I have two pans just in case, because I'm not sure how evenly this is going to spread out. And we're gonna bake these in the oven at 175 for about 30 minutes. And I have my oven already warmed up. Okay, kind of think they need to be flat. So I'm gonna get my other pan. So it looks like probably two pans. And remember, get the Schneider's butter ones. We didn't have them at our town, in our town grocery store. And use canola oil, not vegetable. So I'm gonna be sending the this recipe. I'm gonna be sending these down to my husband's office so they can all test them and see how well I did. I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Okay, 175, 30 minutes. Okay, our pretzels are ready to come out of the oven and they smell amazing. I cannot wait to try these. Okay, both pans are done. Right here. So, I have Cody and Chelsea's ones right here, so I'm gonna try theirs first. Ranchy, spicy. Mmm, that's yummy. Oh, I hope mine are as good as theirs. Okay. Let's see. Mine are really, really yummy. But I know exactly what he means by the butter. You can taste just a little bit of that butteriness from the buttery pretzel compared to mine not being buttery. But guys, these are yummy. I can see why you would call them crack pretzels because I'm, they kind of sort of remind me of like a Cool Ranch Dorito. And you have no idea how much I love Cool Ranch Doritos. Anyway, these are delicious. Thank you to Cody and Chelsea for giving me this recipe and letting me try it. Guys, you need to try this love it. As always, click subscribe and the bell button so you always know when I post a video and give me a big fat thumbs up if you like my videos. Thanks a lot guys. See ya.